Hello, Braswell families. This is Principal Wajardo, and this podcast is going to share with you what I shared with families on August 8th in in the parent meeting for general information. Many of you have contacted me asking me to email you this information, and this is the most efficient way that I thought I could do this. So the first thing that I shared with parents is our bell schedule. This can also be found on the Denton website on the Braswell page, www.dentonisd.org forward slash Braswell HS. In fact, you can find a lot of information on our web page. We also share a lot of information on our Facebook page. Some of you may not be social media experts, but the Facebook page is worth liking and checking out as we do have a lot of information there. So first period begins at 8.50, 5-0, and the students are released at the end of the day at 4.10. Now these are not suggested times and they're not approximate times. We will begin first period at 8.50, so it's very important that the students are on time, in class, ready to learn. Please help us in that endeavor to get your student to school on time. Tardies do account against students, so we want to make sure everyone gets to school on time. Now, we will be open on August 22nd. That's non-negotiable. Kids are will be coming to school. We will be ready. Also, we will have a freshman first day on August 19th. This is a district initiative. Braswell High School will do the same thing as Geyer, Denton, and Ryan High Schools. We will begin at approximately, actually, we will begin at 8.50. Kids can start showing up at about 8.30. And we will end at 12.30. That's noon 30 and students can go home at that time. They will go through their schedules. Students must be registered for school to attend. If you have not registered your student, remember registration starts today, Tuesday, August 9th from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. or tomorrow, Wednesday, August 10th, from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. Student, again, you must have your student registered in order for them to attend freshman first day. Balfour Beatty, the construction company who is still working on our building, has asked us that students not drive themselves. Now, generally speaking, there is transportation on day one of school, and also for freshman day, but gen- again, for day one, there is transportation. Uh, you sign up for transportation through the InfoSnap process, and you will be contacted by the transportation department next week. Every student north of 380 qualifies for transportation regardless of how close or far they are from the school. That is the district's promise to keep our kids safe and so that they will be transported anyone north of 380. If you're south of 380 you must live two miles or more away from the school to get transportation and again transportation will be contacting you. We are still working on traffic patterns for our campus Um, We want the best case scenario for all travelers before and after school. This is why we are still working on this process. I will communicate this with, uh, or to families through email. I will probably do a mail out, which I haven't done because I've been, all of my communication has been electronic, but this is that important that merits a mail out. We want to get this information to you as soon as possible, as soon as we have it so that you know which routes to take while driving on campus and to avoid bus traffic, so on and so forth. So that is coming traffic pattern for the campus still under construction like some of our buildings. So let's construction workers and students. Really, there's no contact at all. We have given Balfour Beatty a copy of our bell schedule. Uh, If there is a need for them to be in a hallway near a construction area, that's probably going to only be right here in the fine arts area. It will be very minimal. There will be teachers out there, but really, even if a student talks to a construction worker, the construction worker probably isn't going to talk back. So um, they have a huge job to do, so they will be very busy. All right, here's the construction plan. All construction workers who work 
in or on schools must be fingerprinted by law. Now Balfour Beatty, our construction company, also requires a background check. This is the same, same criteria we use for teachers who teach your kids. These are the people who are working in our building. But again, there is minimal contact. There will be separate entrances for workers and construction areas will be closed off to students and staff. A student would really have to deliberately penetrate a barrier to be in a construction area. And in that case, we're talking about a discipline issue. We will talk to students about areas that are off limits, but it will be visibly obvious to students and staff what areas they can go into and what areas they cannot. And as I mentioned in the previous slide, there will be minimal construction worker traffic in the hallways, and that's mostly in the fine arts area where there's only one entrance to a classroom and out of a classroom. And think about this, all high schools in Denton ISD, Ryan, Denton, and Geyer have gone or are going through renovations during the school year. This is really no different. Geyer High School right now is going through construction. This isn't any different. So we will make sure our students understand their role in this construction process. And then our staff will know what their roles are as well. And so that there will be no problems at all. Now, going back to the traffic flow plan, I know this is very important. I, we will publish a traffic flow plan by next week. Okay, so let's talk about other stuff you need to know. First of all, I said this before, but buses will run on the first day of school. You should be contacted next week about your route. Students on the first day of school should bring something to write on and something to write with. I've had several questions um, from parents about school supply list. High schools generally do not publish school supplies list and the reason is there's so many different classes that it would be almost impossible to publish lists for every single class. So just some basic supplies is a good idea and then after the first day, first couple of days of school, the students will probably say, hey mom, I need a binder or other supplies that are necessary. Breakfast and lunch will be served on the first day of school. I believe you can find those prices on the Denton ISD website, the general website, food and nutrition, or child nutrition is the department. Um, they should be the same prices as last year, but you'll want to double check those. There are, let's go back to lunch and breakfast. Any student who participated in the lunch program will still qualify this year. However, if your student participated in the lunch program last year, you must reapply for that every year. They have just a few weeks grace period to take advantage of that before they are cut off because of a, a uh, application that's not done. So make sure you take care of that, folks. Again, going back to academic lockers in Braswell High School, there are no academic lockers. Students may have backpacks. What I strongly recommend is not to purchase a huge backpack for hiker kind of situation. Um, we don't intend to weigh your student down with books. Um, in fact, what I've asked the, my teachers is if there are, if they insist on sending their students home with a book, let's talk, let's, is there, are there other options? We want to make our curriculum available digitally also there will be a lot of things, digital versions of, of any assignments available in the Google Classroom. Students are not required to purchase planners. I really want students to keep up with their, their days through electronic calendars. And students will receive a photo ID on or around picture day. Picture day is August 31st. Please mark your calendars right now. August 31st is picture day. Now their ID, students ID from last year, regardless of where they went to school in Denton ISD should still scan for Braswell High School. Um, but I'm sure they're gonna want a Braswell High School photo ID. Again, make sure your student is at school on August 31st for the picture day. We will sell parking passes on sophomore junior night. We're gonna start on that and I'll talk about sophomore junior night here in a little bit. And on freshman first day, parking passes are $30. 
So back to returning student registration. We are beginning student registration today from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. That's Tuesday, August 9th, and continuing Wednesday, August 10th at 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. We are doing registration at Paloma Creek Elementary in the cafeteria. Come through the back. Please be patient with us. We are really trying to do well and work through this process. Students will receive an unofficial schedule. Parents, guardians, you need your photo ID and proof of residence. All students must register for school. And also, we want you to join our PTA, so make sure you are um, you have $10 to join PTA. We'd love for you to join. It's a great organization and they really support all of our endeavors at school. And I also want to reiterate, we I have talked to the staff about their friendly and um, nice presence at registration. Please be patient with us. We are really trying to work through our first registration. In addition, not being at Braswell High School, but at an elementary school. So please be patient with us. Other important things, first of all, Tuesday, that's next Tuesday, August 16th, is the Braswell Zone Back to School Bash that will be at Navo Middle School. Wednesday, August 17th, is Sophomore Junior Night Orientation. This is an event for students only, 7 o'clock to 8 p.m. And if students are late, they're going to be a little bit behind, so they can start getting there about 6.45. That's probably a great idea. Balfour Beatty has asked us to not have students drive themselves on these uh, uh, on this night. Um, students have to be registered for school to attend. If they are not registered for school, they will be held aside until we can get their registration process done. Now, this event will be at Braswell High School. We're very excited to say next week we will be at the high school without hard hats. Allegedly. No, we'll be there without hard hats. So Friday, August 19th is freshman first day. And again, this is a student only event. Um, parents, I promise we will take very good care of your freshmen. We want them to show up at about 8.30. We will begin promptly at 8.50, just like the first day of school, and we will be done at 12.30. We will feed your student lunch Again, we do not want students to drive themselves. Students have to be registered for school to attend freshman first day. And yes, it will be at Braswell High School. That is freshman first day. So these are the dates that are important for next week. 